But that's old. That's in old games. It doesn't work in this game. That used to be the best re-wall spot with Raven. Backpack uh, 2. But I don't think it's that good in this game. 61 damage. You can just do... I mean that does pretty much as much as you want. There's not much reason to do that. Um, another reason I use Haze is you can do after the back 2-3 on the wall. I like doing 1-2 Haze for a mix-up on Oki, so like this. Um, a, lot of the a lot of times the low is really good there, or you can go for the mid. I think it hits them rolling on the ground. Um, you can also do 3 3 back 4 into a back turn mix up. It's pretty nice, but it's not like. It's not airtight. I think they can interrupt you if they get up quickly. Yeah, and you can go for back turn mix ups and shit. You can also do that 3 slide 4 thing for the 1 plus 2. That one's pretty good. That's why I think back two, uh, back turn 2 3, back 2 3 is the best ball move. Because you get all the options off of it. A lot of people say you should do this move, but I think there's no reason to, to do that. You should always use back 2 3 here. Because this is guaranteed and it does like one more point of damage than that other combo. Back 1 into down 3. And you get Oki. It's like there's no reason to use the other one. Kind of hard though. It's the unblockable setup. Um, back one into Haze two. That usually catches a lot of people. Yeah, back turn. Back 2, 3, back 1, down 3. It does one more point of damage than this shit. That does 55. This one... 56. The down 3 is guaranteed. So there's like no reason to do that other move. Like seriously. There's so much shit you can do off the of back 2 3. It's so versatile. You can do, like, you can do that. You can do back 3. You can do. Uh, what else can you do? What about side wall combos from a wall splat? Uh, I don't know what you mean. You gotta be more specific. Oh, you mean like this? They're on the side. I don't know how to get it. Oh. Yeah, so the best w best thing to do on a side wall spot, at least what, uh, what I use. I don't know if someone finds something better, they can use it, but... You basically have to do 1, 2, and to down 3. Fuck, how do you get this position? Yeah, 
That's the best you can do, I think. Yeah. Or if you want Oki, you could probably just spike him down with back one, and then down three is probably guaranteed after that. They're on the side, I think. Hope you upload this? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna upload this. Back for four into screw combo. Well, I mean, like, I'm assuming you already used your screw, or. Like, if you want to do a re. Um, if you do the side wall splat into a screw, then yeah, you can, like. Go like that into. That. Um, so, like, if they're gonna fall off the wall and you want to do a screw attack, you can just sidestep down back to one. I've also seen people do this what they do for re-wall spot. Something like that. Oh. Like that, dude. That's the re-wall spot. Side step four one into this shit. Ah, <laughs> damn, that's sick. Oh, some back turn shit. Can you turn CPU on ultra hard? <laughs> Why? Doesn't 4 2 work as well? I think it works both ways as well. Yeah. And also, like, okay, see that situation there? Um, a lot of the times. Yeah, so if you want to get fancy. And do a re wall splat, you can do sidestep um, 4 1. And you get this weird situation where their back's at the wall, and if they tech roll up after that, you get like a back turn uh, launcher. How do I do that? <clears throat> Yeah, like that, see? I mean, it's a very specific thing and like, it's very hard to do in the clutch, but... And if you know how to do it, it's pretty cool, I guess. See? But you don't get much if they're by the wall like that. What else can you do with the wall? Her power crush is a really good wall splat. Tracking move, and it's a wall splat. And it's a power crush. So make sure you use power crush a lot, because they're gonna try side step out or retaliate and shit, and it's just like free wall splat, dude. If you know how to use this move, you get a wall splat for free. Back 4 4 is also a wall splat, that's pretty good. 442444 Straight up back turns really good at the wall. Oh, this shit at the wall is really good too. It's 
Since this is a wall spot, it's a really good mix-up. Oh, up 3 at the wall is also very good, I think. I don't use this at all, but this is actually the only time you'd use this move. Because um, it's a tracking move and it leaves you in back turn. So if they're going to try to step, it's very hard to step away from this. And since the range is so shitty, the only way you can use this is at the wall. And there's a few mix-ups out of it, so up 3, 4 is double high, but the 4 is like plus 8 on block, and it leaves him in this weird side turn situation. Um, up 3, 3 is a mid that wall splats, but it's, I think it's launch punishable. So there's a few mix-ups you can do off of this. Um, Yeah, up 3, down 3, that's another one. Um, it's not as useful in this game because you don't get a bound combo anymore. You just get like, shh, whatever. That's like nothing. But it's still a good trip low. Most, um, most good players will know how to block that low. So if you know they're gonna block it, you can just do the up 3 by itself. And then you can go into back turn mix-ups. Congo, am I right when I say that Ling matchup is free for Ling? I mean for Raven? Um, Raven versus Ling and Raven versus Eddie, they're both super hard for Raven. In my opinion. Not impossible, but it's not in her favor. Um, okay, so back turn at the wall. Uh, the best thing to do is you have 4 4 3, which is a wall splat, safe mid. You can also do back turn 2. So if you get back turn 2 counter hit, 1 4 is guaranteed, and you do shit tons of damage. Um, you can just go for the low too, because a lot of people don't duck at the wall. The low is really good. What else is good? At the wall. Just straight up 1-4. Do you think they're gonna press buttons? Since one, back turn 1 is 8 frames. Oh, another thing at the wall, okay. Uh, let me just finish this back turn shit. Uh, oh, just back turn and then like go back into crouch like that. So if you think they're gonna retaliate, if they stick out anything, you can re wall splat with forward, forward, forward. It's like really good. Because she goes so far back, a lot of times the moves will whip. So that's a really good thing you should remember. Oh yeah, 2-4 for wall splat. 2-4 is really good. It's a wall splat in this game. You don't remember that. Okay, I was gonna go over 3-3. So 3-3 is like super fucking good at the wall. It's already a good move, so... Uh, let me tell you about 3-3. 3-3 is a 14 frame mid mid high and the, the high jail so they can't duck that high and 3-3 three, three tracks both ways um, I think it tra the first hit tracks one way second hit tracks the other way so even in neutral this moves like super good if you're trying to get them to stop sna um, stepping it's a 14 frame mid and it's safe so it's like you gotta use this all, a lot uh, especially because they buffed this move in the, this game 
And the reason why it's good at the wall, since it also tracks and it's super fast, you have 3 3 4, right? So there's a mix up off of this 3 3 move. 3 3 4 is a high, um, it's a high, right? So they can duck that, but so it's shitty in the neutral. But at the wall, it's really good because it's a wall splat. Uh, the last hit doesn't jail. But you have the mix up out of it, which is you can either just do 3 3 by itself, right? Or you can do 3 3 4 back, which leaves you in back turn. So the reason it's good as the wall is because they have to respect your mix up. So, generally, how I use it is like, alright, you just do 3 3 and you don't do anything. Then you do 3 3 again, don't do anything. And then the third time you do. 3 3 4. Because usually they're expecting to like hit buttons afterwards, right? Because it's like, alright, he didn't do shit after 3 3. And boom, wall splat. Mix ups. Or you can do the feint into back 10 mix ups. So I think that's really good at the wall. You gotta remember that. Dude, I just like vomited out all the information I have for wall splat shit. I think that's all I got. I think there's more shit though. Let me think for a second. I guess you can use this. And no, uh, I'll use that. Kind of whatever. Doesn't back turn forward four through wall spot? No, this is not a wall spot. That move is trash, don't use that. Oh, back three at the wall is really good. Back turn back three. Cause this shit's plus, dude. Plus on block tracking move and it's a high. Um, so, and a wall slide. So if they're gonna step, just like fuck them up with this move. I don't even use this move that much. I should take my own advice, but this move's super good at the wall. Plus, dude. Plus move, tracking move. Cause like no one, not a lot of people duck at the wall, so you're like pretty much free to use highs at the wall. Oh, that reminds me. Dude, there's so much shit, dude. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> back three and back one at the wall, super good. Both these moves are plus on block, and back three is like super useful. Um, what I like to do is back three into forward three. Because back three is enough plus where forward three is like, really good, and 4-3-2 is a wall spot as well. It's another tracking move wall spot. And you can just do 4-3 into back turn for another mix up. Or you can just do 4-3 by itself. It's fucked up. Or you can do lows if they're getting too scared. Back, back one as well, same thing. Plus on block. She's got a lot of shit, dude. <laughs> oh, another one. Up 4-4. Four, four. This is a wall split at the wall. Really good move. What are the pros and cons of Raven? Uh, let me answer that after I get all this wall shit out. Um, okay, so if you're if the wall is to your right side, back back two is a launcher. 
Come on, Raven. Like that. Yeah, so just remember that when you're on this side, also up forward four is a wall spot on this side as well. Thick. So if you're the walls to your right, back back two is like your go-to. Back four four is the pickup. Four one plus two, yeah. Four one plus two is another good wall slap. Power crush, homing move, wall slap. Really good. Ah oh, man, <laughs> that's a lot of information, dude. Is there anything else? A lot of her throws leave her in the same position at the wall. Uh, this move, yeah. Down forward 1 plus 4, the orbital throw. I think it does extra damage if you hit the wall. It's still an av advantageous position, I think. Like, you're still, their back is still to the wall, so. This throw is pretty good, too, I guess. Uh, I think that's about it, dude. That's my, like, complete wall dump, dude. I'm sure I'm missing some shit, but... Hey Ardo, thanks for the... whatever the fuck those are called. Bits. <laughs> yeah, this is probably going on YouTube. Crouch dash cancel, I can't get it consistently. Any tips? Um, uh, the way I do it is you have to do QCF forward and then up. Side step up is to cancel it. You can use back too, I guess, but I prefer up. And you can do up faster. Um, but I, I don't know. I still, I'm still not like super great at it. But, yeah. Uh, Crouch Dash is really like hard to use with Raven, cause even though it's her most important mix-up thing, it's like really hard to make it safe and use it correctly, so yeah, I'm gonna have to make another specific YouTube video about that because Crash Dash by itself is such a really complicated topic with her. Probably go to sleep pretty soon, guys. 
Uh, I think I have time for like one more question, and then I gotta go. What do you use for short range with punish? I use 4-1, but I'm too late, I'm fucked. Short range. Um, so... I can just go over with punish real quick. Okay, for short range, especially if you want to make it fast, um, down back 2-1 is really good because it's a mid. So like sometimes they'll whiff something and they'll be like ducking under so 4-1 is not always gonna hit. So if you want a pretty reliable fast whiff punish, use this. But uh, one thing to note is they can duck the high so if you fuck it up they'll launch you. Um, what punish I use the most is 4, 2, 3. This has like super long range and it's only minus 10 on block. Super consistent with punish. Like if they whiff anything, you're just gonna swipe them. Dude. Um, you can use 1 plus 2. 4, 1 also, yeah it's fine. Down forward 2, that's probably better than everything else. If you're going for like the best whiff punish, forward forward 2. Um, so you wouldn't use forward forward 2 as a whiff punisher because if you're just gonna use a move like that, you might as well whiff punish with forward forward 3. Should be using this move anyway for what punish. Down for two is a bit slow. Yeah, so if you want a fast one, then yeah. Jabs, three three, down back two one, four one. Yeah, those are like the fastest ones. But I think... If you're gonna bait out a whiff, you should be expecting to use a launcher. Like, don't think about the speed of the move you're using. Um... I mean the speed is important but like if you're trying to make them whiff you should have a launcher in mind like like when you're spacing them out right if you're expecting them to whiff you should be fast enough to punish with a launcher don't use I mean there's certain situations where you have to use like jabs but a lot of the times, if you're trying to bait out a whiff punish, like, you're expecting them to whiff and you just throw this out. You know what I mean? Like, you don't just whiff punish on reaction, you kind of whiff punish on... Like, you're trying to bait the whiff punish. I don't know, that's, that's my philosophy. You don't have to follow that, but that's how I usually see it working because like if they whiff something right this is not a big enough reward for a whiff punish you want you want the big reward down forward two or forward four three and if you can't reach do four two three like don't just do jabs if they whiff punish it's a shitty whiff punisher you want the big shit
and definitely with Punish Electrics with 442. Yeah, dude, like, I do that all the time. Like, you can see them do the electric and then 443. You want the big shit. Don't whiff punish with jabs. Yeah, 4 3 as well as. 4 slide 3 is a pretty good move as well. What do you think of down 4 2 after sidestep? Yeah, it's good. If you're trying to bait something, it's a good move. <clears throat> oh, just remember, this doesn't launch crouch, so that's something you gotta remember. And if they block it, you're kind of in a mix-up situation. In back turn. Alright, peace Ardo. No problem, man. Oh yeah, I gotta go to sleep. I have a tournament tomorrow. Alright guys, that's that's it for me. Um let me see who I can host. Kuro Kuro is on, Shooty's on. I think. Alright, guys, have a good night. I'm heading off to sleep. Peace.